World War Z is a third-person co-op shooter from Saber Interactive, based on the 2013 movie of the same name. You'll shoot your way through hundreds of stampeding zombies with up to three friends in scenarios set across the world. The story takes place within the movie universe and shows the effects of the outbreaks in New York, Jerusalem, Moscow, and Tokyo. The plot is not a singular tale, but four vignettes with nods to the events from the movie. For the most part, these stories are separate from that and each other. What I found most interesting were the characters' backstories. Each of the 16 characters has a biography and introductory movie unlocked after completing a mission. Those movies can be overdramatic, but I enjoyed most of them. The characters are well designed and unique from one another. I only wish there was a heavier focus on the relationship dynamics of each squad. You'll pick one of the four characters available for each episode and link up with friends or AI to fill out the team. You can also choose between six classes. These denote your starting weapons and equipment. The equipment includes tools like explosives, stun guns, or stim packs, and is the only real variation between the classes, as shooting will be your primary mode of attack. Guns and equipment can be restocked at randomly spawning areas. Randomness also applies to enemy placements, which is meant to help replayability, but I found that it did little to ease the sense of repetition. The sequences where you set up defenses against stampeding hordes are slightly better. These moments are intense and require teamwork and communication to survive. However, once completed, there's little incentive to replay levels. Victory nets you currency to buy class and weapon upgrades that mainly grant passive damage and stamina boosts. You'll be better suited to survive with fewer resources at higher difficulties, but with the reward being more currency for an uninteresting skill tree, you might wonder what's the point. Multiplayer rewards currency for the single player classes, so there is no separate progression, but it does offer a good selection of different game types. In some matches, zombie hordes will flood the playfield, distracting enemies or putting your team in danger. It's also a nice touch that you become a zombie if killed by them. The outdoor environments are well designed and vibrant, but most chapters will take you into less interesting indoor corridors, though the rush of zombies covering these locations was always cool to see. I did run into stuttering when the number of enemies increased. On the high and medium settings on two PCs using an i5, a GTX 1050, and 1060, slowdown was constant. The hole that the Left 4 Dead series left has steadily been filling with titles in recent years. World War Z is one of the better entries in the co-op shooter genre. It doesn't bring anything new to that formula, but does execute on it well and is sure to be fun with friends even if only for a short while. The game is available for PS4, Xbox One, and PC via the Epic Game Store.